Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Jessica McDonald and I'm a knitting pattern designer and today I am going to show you how to wash your woolen baby knits. If you hear any noise in the background, it's my daughters playing. They promise to whisper, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see if that happens. So here is Aiden's fletching and it's dirty. Let's, let's show you. Aiden is 16 months old. There's some cheese. There's some milk soaked into it. This little sweater needs a wash. And I'm going to show you just how I wash my woolen baby sweaters because one of the main concerns people have with going to a non-superwash wool yarn for knitting baby sweaters is how exactly do you wash them without ruining them. So I'm going to show you how I do it. So first of all, you're going to want to get a basin full of nice warm water. A bathroom sink works perfect for this, but has terrible lighting. So I'm doing this on my kitchen island. So nice warm water, the same temperature you would bathe a baby in and put in some wool soap as you're filling up the sink or your bowl. I am using Euclan. You can see that. Um, I like the unscented one. There's many different kinds of wool washes. Soak is one of them. Basically every yarn brand has their own wool wash and I don't think it matters which ones you choose to use. I use this one. I find it on Amazon. It's Euclan. E-U-C-A-L-A-N. Focus on that name for you so you can see that. That's the one I use and I put about a teaspoon in as I was filling up the water and it makes a nice sudsy bath. Here we go. Here's my bath. So the first thing you do after you've got the water made, so you put your little sweater in, just soak it in there. Had a little parenting interlude there. So once you get your sweater in your basin or your bowl of water, you want to push it completely underneath, kind of squeeze it a little bit and make sure the water has soaked into all of the fibers of your sweater and it's nice and wet. Make sure it's underneath and then just leave it for about 10 minutes, 15 minutes, and then you'll come back and um, it's been that amount of time now. So I'm going to show you what I do next. So you can see that most of the stuff comes out of it with just a soak. There's a little bit of cheese right there. So I'll just kind of rub it with my fingers gently to get the last little bit out. Um, right here along the front edge is usually pretty dirty. So I'll just kind of fold it over on itself and rub it a little bit, even underneath the water. Yes, I'm rubbing wet wool together. It won't felt extraordinarily bad. It will felt a little bit, but it's not gonna felt so bad that it distorts the sweater. Maybe over a few years and a few children's worth of washes it would, but you're not, working it vigorously and you're not doing it for an extended period of time. You're just doing it for a little bit to get that last little bit of goo out of the neckline. And then you drain your sink or lift your sweater out. Never wring, let me focus this here. There, never wring your sweaters because that will distort the fabric. Just squeeze it to squeeze the water out. I like to ball it up in my hands and give it a good hard squeeze. And you're going to get your towel. For an adult size sweater, a bath towel works best, but this is a kid's sweater, so I'm just gonna lay it between two kitchen towels here. So lay it out. Make sure it's not too distorted as you're laying it out because you are gonna roll it up and press on it and that will, um, kind of stretch the fibers if it's all twisted around. So I'm gonna make a sweater burrito, roll it up inside and press on it with as much weight as you can or lay it on the floor and walk on it. The kids always like to walk on it. That's their favorite thing. Press on it, get every last bit of water out. Well, it's not every last bit, but as much as you can. 
and take it out. Then you're gonna lay this flat, kind of reshape it, smooth out the sleeves. You can do a complete reblock at this point and pin it however it needs to be pinned. I don't generally do that. I'll block it and pin out the color work when I first finish the sweater, but then after that, I'll just lay it flat. Kind of reshape it like this. And that's generally enough to get it back into good shape. And then you just leave it there till it dries and you're ready to go. One trick you can do if you are lucky enough to have floor vents is you can lay it over top of your floor vents and then it will dry a lot faster. It'll probably take two days to dry at this point if I don't lay it over a heater vent. So that is how I wash my little woolen sweaters. Hopefully that makes you feel a lot more confident washing your sweaters and uh, happy knitting you guys. I'll see you later.